Hi, hello viewers, it's my limited IS Academy and today we are going to see 90 day plan for UPSC civil service exam. We just have 90 days for our UPSC civil service exam and also this 90 days is because of the exam postponing. So our exam is postponed earlier. Our exam is scheduled on June 27th but now we have our exam on October 10. So we have extra 90 days and within this 90 days we need to complete the entire syllabus. So to complete the entire syllabus, generally we take a year to complete the entire syllabus but now we do do not, do not have entire year for completing this entire syllabus so within this 90 days we should complete as much as possible so we are going to have a plan for that and in this 90 days we should have a revision also completing syllabus is not the only thing we should also revise our subject so that we can crack our exams so first let us divide the 30 days into 3 30 30 30 the last 30 days is for revision because revision is the one which will uh, boost your preparation which will uh, make you to recall the subjects which you have already read so you should have a revision time period so the last 30 days is for revision and the next the 60 days is only the time period in which you can learn your syllabus in which you can revise your syllabus so first 30 days we should focus on the subjects which are really important as well as easy subjects so according to me for myself uh, the economy is the most easy subject so first i will be starting from economy and let us allocate 10 days for economy economy is not a vast subject for economy 10 days is sufficient i guess so let us take 10 days to complete economy then after economy let us take history in history we have ancient history medieval history as well as modern history earlier in our youtube channel we have posted videos for ancient history as well as medieval history we do not have content for modern history so let us study history next to economy and, and for history also let us allocate around 10 days and the third subject which we can study is uh, polity polity is a very important subject because from history you can expect around 20 questions in upsc civil service exam and from polity you can expect around 20 questions from uh, for UPSC civil service exam which means that uh, 1 by 4 or 1 by 5 questions is from history and polity but uh, considering economy you can expect around 10 questions only from economy economy does not have high weightage in UPSC civil service exam so you should be giving more weightage to history polity as well as the geography subjects because these three subjects hold more weightage in UPSC civil service exam so first I am going to take these subjects and I am going to complete these subjects in 10 days it, within this 10 days we should focus on the syllabus we should focus on the previous year question papers we should also have revision test in this subjects and we should also complete the syllabus uh, the material maybe you might be following some books or you may be having uh, some written materials you can follow anything you want but we should complete the syllabus within the 10 days for economy first uh, let us start with economy for the next upcoming 10 days we will be having videos in economy and uh, i'll be first uh, in my first video i'll be discussing about the syllabus in economy and in my next video i'll be talking about the previous year question papers uh, from economy and in the upcoming videos i'll be discussing about the contents which are in economy the most important topics and i will also be covering the current affairs which are important for economy and we'll be predicting things which can be asked in UPSC civil service exam. We have a short period of time and if you need to crack the exam within this short period of time, we should be good in predicting the questions. We should be predicting the questions so that we can crack the exam. So that uh, if you are starting a preparation right now, you can't complete the entire syllabus. Within this 10 days, if you are starting just now, you can't complete the entire syllabus. You should focus on things that are really, really important. And in next 30 days, we can complete the rest three subjects. The rest three subjects are we have science and technology. Science and technology is also important because we have a pandemic. And because of this pandemic, science and technology is gaining importance. And environment is also important. Why? Because it's because of the uh, natural... Uh, uh, climatic changes because of the anthropogenic causes there is a climate change global warming and because of this there are forest fires recently Canada is also suffering from forest fire and there are many anthropogenic events that are disrupting the environment so because of this environment is also in news it will always be in news so that we should focus on environment mainly from science and technology and environment you should be focusing more on the current affairs comparing to that of static we will be doing that and the last one is we have geography geography and environment is almost uh, they are interlinked uh, and in geography we almost have uh, we already have certain videos in our uh, youtube channel we have uh, 
places in news we have about afghanistan syria the uh, countries that border the mediterranean sea the countries that border the black sea the countries that border caspian sea and there are certain videos which are uh, relating to geography in our youtube channel you can watch those stuff and uh, for the next 10 days what i'm going to do is i am going to post videos for economy for that you can subscribe to my youtube channel and you can follow my youtube channel so that you will be covering this syllabus within 90 days and that's all for today video subscribe to my limited is academy thank you